Hello again, Chemistry Scholars. We don't have a reading today. You should still have out a piece of paper, maybe, to take some notes on so that you can be ready to do some more work in class tomorrow. So what do you currently see on the screen? A paper clip. Yes. We could go into all sorts of philosophy here about the, the nature of life, but we're actually going to talk about the nature of matter. See, paper clips, they're interesting because we know a paper clip, it takes up mass, which means it has weight, it has matter, and it takes up space, right? I, I can't fit an infinite number of paper clips into a jar. It, they take up space. But I also know that if I take a paper clip and I bend it, and you know, I, I twist it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, I can eventually break the paper clip into two different sections. Let's say it's a blue paper clip, because that's the color of my pen. Okay, it's a blue paper clip. That's your favorite color or something, I don't know. Well, <clears throat> let's say you're bored one day, you know, the internet's out, you're not on Facebook. No, no one uses Facebook anymore. You're not on Instagram, all right? You haven't done any selfies yet. And you just take these paper clip pieces and, and you break them apart again. You twist them, you twist them, and, and you break them apart again. Right, well, each one of them still has mass, right? They, they still have matter, they still take up space, but now they're just smaller. Well, let's break them again. Okay, and then let's take that one and we break it some more. That's not really even smaller, is it? And we break it some more. Okay, we take that one and break it some more. We break this one some more. And then we break this one. And we break this one. Okay, so pretty soon, you know, we, I, it would take too much drawing to do this, all these. But you're getting really, really, really tiny. Right? And we could keep doing this until the pieces of paperclip are so small that we can't even see. Now, we know our eyes aren't perfect, right? Because I don't know if you've ever seen a mountain or you've been driving along on the highway and you see a mountain and it's green. Well, you know it's green because there are trees there with leaves, right? But can you see the leaves? No, because they're crazy far away. And so our eyes aren't perfect. They can't see really small things or really far away things. So we know that we can't see everything that's actually inside the paper clip. But can we actually do this forever? No. Right? Because eventually, let's say I take this and I'm going to blow this up. So this is So this is just the section of paper clip just a square little section of paper clip here really really zoomed in so this is a microscopic view okay microscopic so micro being really small and scopic like seeing things so this is a microscopic view each piece actually has little particles that are making it up and we'll discuss later what these particles are actually called and how they bond together and why they do what they do and how heavy they are and all sorts of different things. But what I want you to get now is that you can't break things apart forever. Eventually, you can't break them apart anymore. Eventually, you get to on the particle level, the microscopic level, you can't break them apart anymore. Right? And so all matter is actually made up of particles. And this particle nature of matter explains just about everything in life. We'll be referring back to it again and again and again in chemistry. So cement that in your brain. I'll see you in class.